For the last 4 months, I have been using SwiftUI to develop a native iOS application. Before that, I used Flutter to develop several projects. So in this discussion, I want to share with you my opinion about Flutter vs SwiftUI. Flutter and SwiftUI both are declarative UI framework. So, you can create composable components which in Flutter are called widgets and in Swift UI called views. In Flutter, if we want to show widgets vertically and horizontally, we can use column and row widgets. Similarly, in Swift UI, we can use VStack and HStack layout views for the same purpose. In Flutter, everything is a widget. So suppose if you want to create a text widget and you want to give some styles on that text, you have to use another widget that is called text style. And you have to assign that widget with the parameter of the text widget. But in Swift UI, not everything is view. There are two concepts, view and modifier. So you can create a view like text view. And if you want to apply some styles like fonts, colors, you have to use modifiers for that. So basically, modifiers are methods that take the view, modify the view, and return a new view object. In Flutter, there are fundamentally two types of widgets. One is stateless widget and another one is stateful widget. If you want to store a local state, you have to use a stateful widget. But in SwiftUI, there is no such difference. You can add local state to any views and even you can bind that state to sub views. For global or app state management, in Flutter there are different choices. You can use provider, Redux, Blob, all of those third party libraries. So that means you have to install any of these libraries before you want to use them. But in Swift UI, you can create an app state or global app state using built in libraries. You can create environment object and assign that in the master view so that any child view of that master view can access that state. Or if you want to create an external state that you want to use in a few views, you can do that by creating and using observable object. So all of these are built-in options in Swift UI. So basically, if you know Flutter, you can also apply some of your knowledge in Swift UI. And if you know Swift UI, you can apply some of the knowledge in Flutter as well. So if you ask me which one should I learn, it depends on several criteria like a career or job perspective, personal choice, and most importantly, the project requirements. If a project focuses mostly on iOS users or users from the Apple ecosystem including Mac, Apple Watch, iPad, Apple TV, I will definitely select SwiftUI to build the app. If major portion of an app depends on third party framework like Facebook which provides native SDK, then I will select SwiftUI to build my app. And also if I want to work for big companies, then I will definitely select SwiftUI or native iOS development because big companies will not want to depend on another company like Google to develop their apps. Apple regularly update their SDK with new bug fixes, new features. So it is really easy to update the native iOS app. But if you use Flutter, you have to wait until Google implements that. And I will definitely choose Flutter if I want to develop mostly REST API or service-based mobile apps and my target audience including both iOS and Android users. And for some companies, if they have not a big budget for their mobile apps, they may hire me as a Flutter developer. And the last question is, can I learn both? Technically, yes, you can learn both and you can apply some common pattern to solve common problems using both frameworks. The only barrier is that you have to excel in both Swift and Dart programming languages. As these two languages are strongly typed languages, so it is also not a big issue. In most cases, a developer has to work on multiple programming languages, right? If you want to be a web developer, you have to know JavaScript and sometimes you have to know Python like that. Okay, so thank you for watching and keep learning.